Hi, my name is Chico Membreno and I'm one of the product owners on the 3DS Max team. Today we are going to have a quick look at the new SketchUp importer which is being introduced in 3DS Max 2020 Update 2. So the way we're going to have a look at this is first go through the workflow in the previous build of 3ds max that's 2020 update one and the main problem that has been fixed uh, with the new release is that we now support all file versions of sketchup previously the support stopped at sketchup version 2015. a little note quickly is that the new importer is based on the autodesk translation framework atf it brings us more confident that it will be continuously updated as the ATF team is responsible to integrate all new updates to the SketchUp SDK. So now we're in uh, Max 2020 Update 1, and we are going to sort of walk through the pain point or the pains of trying to import a version of SketchUp that is not compatible. Files here, and I have this one file and everything looks fine. I'm gonna click OK. It looks like it's starting. Uh, but no, I get this error. We're going to go to SketchUp, and I already have the file open, and I'm going to go to Export. And keep in mind, I own SketchUp here. So this is a professional license of SketchUp. Keeping that in mind, uh, I have some options. I could go to FBX. I could go to 3DS. Just so you know, I've already tried both of these, and they both take a while. But let's just try the 3DS one. So now. We are working uh, with the proposed workaround. Let's see what happens. It's uh, going. Okay. So it's been over an additional hour and five minutes and we're at 40%. I'm going to bail on this. I'm gonna stop this import because yes, I mean export, sorry. And given the fact that I know what the issue was. It was an issue of version compatibility. I'm going to go ahead and save this one back to 2015. Okay, save as. And I'm, I've already got one, but I'm going to do it anyway just to see how much time that takes. And that wasn't bad at all. So we've been saved backwards, I believe, to 2015. So this is 2020.1. We're going to import the old version just to see what it looked like because there are actually in this particular case, and I'm not going to claim that it's in all cases or a lot of cases, but there are some visual fidelity improvements as well that uh, we might as well take a look at. So I'm going to import, and I'll import the 2015 version here. So anyone dealing with smaller files and who had a SketchUp Pro license, didn't have a problem doing this, saving backwards. And there you go, you can import that. And you can see, so just bunch of visual artifacts that show up and disappear depending on your zoom level. Not so pretty. The model's there. Um, most of the materials are correctly applied and it seems to be pretty performant. Okay, now we will go to 2020 update 2. Port. So now you will see there is SketchUp and SketchUp 2015 and older. So that's the legacy one, and then the new one is this, which should be the default when you uh, first run Max. See, the dialogue is different because this is now the dialogue that is used for file formats that are supported by ATF. We did do some work to improve the ATF dialogue as well. So importers that are leveraging ATF now have options that are shown only specific to that format. It used to be that all settings were shown for any file format that was being imported using the ATF technology, but there were options that were showing and not doing anything. So then we actually upgraded this import dialog uh, to QT, which is a more modern version of UI, and it allowed us to more easily show and hide options. It also allowed us to add tooltips, so you'll see 
that these options now have tooltips, which is kind of a nice improvement. And this should import and look correct. It even says here in the bottom, converting using ATF, Got a progress bar. I believe this is just a view setting thing. Let me uh, turn on the material textures. There we go. And now, voila! And that looks quite a bit better. We don't have the visual artifacting. All the materials are correct. Things are looking good. Alright, and that was quick. There we go. So, I think. That's all I got for this video. I hope that was helpful.